News Talk 1270-KIML. Don Carpenter Shell. Chris Brintle joining us. Hey, I actually have an answer for who's next. Uh-oh, who is it? Well, hey, here, hang on a second. I got, uh, I got something for you. Just completed poll in North Carolina shows Donald Trump leading Hillary Clinton in a possible presidential matchup, but that's not the part that's grabbing people's attention today. It is the third party candidate on that poll, a candidate named D's Nuts. <laughs> really? <laughs> registered as an independent from Iowa has the legal name of D's Nuts. <laughs> Public policy polling showed him pulling 9% of the vote in North Carolina. <laughs> D's nuts has nine percent of the vote in, in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> they actually found out who they actually found out who D's nuts really is, though. Too, it's it's actually a fifteen year old kid. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> oh gosh, I may need to brush up my American government, uh, you know, courses, but I think fifteen's too young. To yeah. become president, I could be yeah. wrong. By the way, I'd vote for the fifteen-year-old kid probably more th- uh, before I'd ever throw out a vote to Hillary or Donald Trump. <laughs> well, that's the- I'm voting for for D's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, this this is where we're at right now. That um, <laughs> that I mean, these nuts is polling better than uh, Rubio. Is polling better than Rand Paul, polling better than Rick Perry, <laughs> polling better than Bernie Sanders, uh, you know, people that actually exist. <laughs> this is this is where we're at. This is where we're at, that uh, uh, your your third choice for president is D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what if he'd be a good vice presidential pick? Well, yeah. Of course, it wouldn't go, the slogan wouldn't look good. Oh, like what? Sanders nuts. 2016. Well, Paul Nuts, 2016. I, I, I actually I actually have I actually have information on how these kind of things happen. There's two there's two different forms you have to fill out. Uh, there's um, one form that anybody can fill out and declare that they're running for president. Once they've raised or spent five thousand dollars, they have to fill out another form and the Federal Elections Commission then then actually uh, actually make sure you're a real person so of course you know on the uh, on the first form where you don't spend any money uh you have just about anybody can do this i mean apparently uh uh, buddy the cat is also running for president (laughs) uh another cat named limber butt mccubbins limber butt mccubbins buddy the elf buddy the elf I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the real FEC website now, just looking at people that are running for president. You know, I'd expect this kind of thing from Colorado or something with the yeah. with the marijuana legal in those states. I'd expect <laughs> these nuts to be sitting third in the presidential race, but not North Carolina. Well, I don't know. Have you ever been to North Carolina? Uh. That's not, uh, have, have you ever met these people? I have family there. <laughs> I have family there. Deez Nuts is probably a pretty popular guy in North Carolina. Uh, here, here's someone that's running for president named Eden. No last name. They're, they're just, just one Eden. name, like Prince. Yeah, well, it's. it's I mean, I, I guess uh, whoever it is is just using their stripper name. Uh, Deez Nuts. Eden. Uh, let's see who else is. So running? what if what if what if uh, Eden and Deez Nuts ran together? Be Eden Nuts, yeah, 2016. <laughs> Eden Nuts, yeah. Well, that's a that 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 could be a very compelling ticket. I might make that sign. Eden, Eden Nuts <laughs> for 2016 president. for yeah. president. What would their slogan be? Um, that's a good question. Um, It'd have to involve the number two. I feel like. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I I I'm not even gonna it maybe. Even, not even going to try, because if I come with something off the top of my head, uh, it might not work right. Oh, boy. Okay. You're trying to get me in trouble with this segment, aren't you? With Well, hey, if, if, the, if the mainstream media, if, if a, a TV station can do this. Yeah. A just completed poll in North Carolina shows Donald Trump leading Hillary Clinton in a possible presidential matchup, but that's not the part that's grabbing people's attention today. It is the third party candidate on that poll. 
candidate named D's Nuts. <laughs> Can't even get through it without laughing. <laughs> oh, no. Really? Oh, and no. <laughs> the best part is the guy in the back. Oh, no. <laughs> the cameraman says, oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> wow. <sighs> that's really good. Uh, I, I have a mixed feelings about this. It's funny in one hand. And it's sad in the other. Yeah, and it really is sad in the other hand because it shows, uh, I okay, it's funny. And I don't want to rain on anybody's funny parade, but it's um, it just kind of shows how a lot of people just don't care well, about the, what's going on. And it, so they'd rather just make a joke and, it, and okay, w- which is, it's cool and all. I mean, At the it, same time, most people don't care. And that's why we have issues we have in this country. And that's how somebody like Obama gets elected. That's how somebody like Bush gets elected. That's how Al Gore, or, um, no, that's how John Kerry. Folks, John Kerry won the popular vote in the United States of America. That's how bad the electorate is in this country. And it's not because people are stupid. It's because people just don't care and they'd rather yeah. make jokes. So on one hand, it is kind of sad. And then people get the government they deserve. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this. Uh, President uh, Ho- President Hopeful Nuts. Okay. He's running third. Uh, oh, nice. But yet you're losing your freedoms gradually. Well, he- with the with the two party dictatorship. Oh, that's hilarious. And and here's here's the thing. It, it's not even. It's not a problem that these nuts can run for president. It's a problem that these nuts is getting nine percent of the that's, polling. It's the problem. Oh yeah, how how is he getting polling and Gary Johnson can't can't get can't get polling? I got excited early in the segment, so I was like, "Oh, the news is the third party." Wait, Gary Johnson's in the polling. That's pretty good. No, nope. we'll get to go to debates. Nope, it's these nuts. Yeah, uh, I, I wonder where I wonder where Sydney's voluptuous buttocks is is poll is polling. Oh, she's got my vote. Well, I don't know it, it might not be a she uh let's take a look uh, even better <laughs> sydney's voluptuous buttocks uh let's take a look at the actual form and see is there pictures um let's see it, it doesn't it doesn't actually say uh, someone that lives in the 26th congressional district of new york from buffalo independent party uh sydney's vo- sydney's voluptuous buttocks is the is the full name of the candidate? Um, the name of the committee is the Sid Buttocks Committee. <laughs> the address, and then and then the actually has the signature. Someone signed it, Sydney's Buttocks. Hmm. Oh boy! <laughs> and it's handwritten. At least these nuts filled it out online and typed it. You know? Right. These so, nuts was really formal about his yes, candidacy. These nuts is a is a stronger candidate than Sydney's voluptuous buttocks. He probably runs a better campaign than Trump and Clinton. <laughs> we should give him a chance to run a mock campaign. He can't be president, but just to see how he does. Put him in the debates. Okay, here's here's. I'm not sure this guy is qualified because I, I think this is against the Constitution. But His Royal Majesty Caesar Saint Augustine de Bonaparte is running. De Bonaparte. Well, the part that he's uh, the part that he's royalty <laughs> is a problem. Yeah, uh, he's run. Um, De Bonaparte. He he ran. Let's see. He ran for. He ran in 2015. Well, he filed in 2015 for 20. So he ran in 20. He's run in every election since uh, 1996. <laughs> so this he's the a, first we're hearing of him. So he's a seven-time presidential it's candidate. Been Twenty years. He's been running for 20 years. So uh, <laughs> his royal majesty, his royal majesty Caesar Saint Augustine de Bonaparte. Uh, yeah, I, DC, I, you I, should get in on this. I feel like you should run. I don't think it's legal for uh, on-air personalities to run for political office. Oh, I mean, it never stops the guy in Casper, but I don't think it's legal. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we'll have to read up on that and see if you can run or not. Yeah, I, I, DC for president. That's what I say. It it uh, it it brings out uh, serious equal time issues. Actually, DC on day one, if you get us out of the UN, I'll vote for you. Oh, I would do that. <laughs> if you do that first day here in office, I'll vote for you. Oh yeah, I would no no candidate saying that, but I want out of the UN, please. Well, you know, that's part of the reason why we police the world because we're in the UN. <laughs> if we were out of there, it would be much easier. Maybe President Buttocks would get us out of the 
out of the U.M. I know, I know, uh, D's nuts is a hatchet man for the New World <laughs> Order. So I mean, we we would never we would never get out of the U.N. under uh, President <laughs> Nuts, but uh, President Buttocks, I think, is the one you want to go for if if <laughs> if uh, you want to if you want to get out of the U.N. So you interview, you know, Congress people, governors, and. I think I believe you might have a presidential candidate on soon if I don't uh, if I remember right. Yes, yes, buddy, um, buddy the cat, buddy, buddy the cat. So you, you're going to have, a, I believe next week you'll have a presidential candidate on. And then after that you're going to buttocks. Yes, the, the other candidate, buttocks. Sydney's voluptuous buttocks. Do you think she'll debate the other candidate that you're going to talk to? Uh, Maybe we can have a two a one-on-one debate, buttocks versus. Uh, <laughs> Well, he, Buddy the Cat, Buddy the Cat's address is Daddy's house <laughs> in, in Glendale, Arizona. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is what happens. This is what happens. This is, I blame uh, prescription drugs. I think, I think that's what this is about. <laughs> it, it, you, you know, hey, Bailey D. Dog. Let's see uh, Bailey D. Dog. Let's see where he lives. Uh, that's that's the great thing about these because they have to put their addresses on there. Um, well, he has a PO box. I'm not sure how <laughs> Bailey D. Dog got a uh, got a, a PO box, but uh, the official presidential committee of Bailey D. Dog 2016 is is based in Long Grove, Illinois. <laughs> so he's probably a big government type. If he's probably from Illinois, you know, Rahm Emanuel type of politician. Well, you know, it's. He's a he's a political pit bull, literally. <laughs> <laughs> and, and finally, finally, uh, you remember the uh, the uh, hearing last week for the Deflate Gate, the the weird courtroom drawings that came out of that. You've seen, oh those, yeah. Right? Well, Tom Brady's sketch is running for president. <laughs> Tom Brady's sketch. His last name is Sketch. Tom Brady, and. Um, uh, apparently, uh, his his uh, he's polling well too. I hear his address is Gillette Stadium, One Patriot Place, Foxborough, Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, he, he lives. Uh, uh, I guess there's an underground little tunnel down there. That's where he lives. Well, you know, I mean, he, you know, I mean, I'm sure I'm, Tom Brady's I'm sh- sketch. I'm sure Tom Brady's sketch, you know, wants to uh, cut into the presidential ambitions and deflate these nuts, but. <laughs> <laughs> These nuts is a strong candidate. <laughs> I think a president nuts would be really good. That, I think that'd be that'd be nice. He's he's pretty good on. I don't know if you've heard his platform. Pretty good on a uh, you know social issues. Well, and uh, you know civil rights. He's good on that kind of stuff. Pro life as well. You know if you knew that. These nuts is pro life. Well, you know it's his job. Cons- well, considering yeah, <laughs> he kind of has to be pro life, doesn't he? <laughs> Well, you would think so. <laughs> he has uh, a lot to do with the making of life. So uh, the uh, public policy polling survey um, actually is, is where this where this poll came from. Uh, and question 31, do you have a favorable or unfavorable opinion of D's nuts? <laughs> uh, favorable, only 6%. So D's nuts has pretty... Low favorable numbers. The unfavorable numbers aren't bad either. It's only thirteen percent. Eighty-one percent aren't sure. So there's he's got to reach a lot of people if he wants to actually uh, win this thing. Plus, he has to age about twenty years. He has to age about twenty. He has to get his health issues in order. I heard he has a lump or something. Well, there's some sort of growth. You got to check that stuff. <laughs> Honest, there's some sort of growth in his person. <laughs> so he's got to get that figured out if he's going to really run for president. You yeah. know, on a serious it's, level. I I don't even know where I I don't even really know. He describes where. it as like a little, like a peanut. Well, that's how you know he gave himself an examination. Last completed poll in North Carolina shows Donald Trump leading Hillary Clinton in a possible presidential matchup, but that's not the part that's grabbing people's attention today. It is the third party candidate on that poll, a candidate named D's Nuts. Oh no! Really? <laughs> that's the best part. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I. Where do you go from that? I mean, <laughs> there, there's nowhere you can go from that uh, other than, um, other than just. Uh, I guess. I guess it could be worse. Somewhere, Jill Stein is in a corner crying. 
Uh, <laughs> that's my reaction to all this. To sum up in one sentence, Jill Stein is in a corner just bawling. And that, that, that could... <laughs> Nine percent. She can't. She can't get on any news channels <laughs> or anything. She can't get in any polling, but she's she's crying. Yeah, I, I at least maybe the the margin of error in that poll was three point two percent. So maybe D's nuts <laughs> is only polling at six. Yeah, and, that could be. Uh, you know, maybe maybe D's nuts only has six percent, but it could be twelve. I'm going. I want Paul Nuts for president. Well, Paul Nuts. At least nuts he, could be a vice president. Yeah, well, it could be his dad, too. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Uh, Ron, Paul is, Ron Paul is a good guy. That's he's a good just, joke, though. Uh, yeah. That is a good joke. He's a good guy. He's just a little weird. <laughs> I, I like his son much better. Okay, what do we have going on in sports for this hour? Camel football and other stuff. Okay, we'll see you next hour. News Talk 1270 KIML. Please remain seated until the show comes to a complete stop. Thank you. Carry on. Don Carpenter on News Talk 1270 KIML. 70 KIML. 70 KIML.